All right, Fishaholic fam, welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, today we're starting off with a little workout. Got uh, the kayak in tow, and uh, we're cutting through the woods on this trail for about a quarter mile or like 400 meters uh, to get to the river. And uh, we're fishing a section on the St. Lucie River that I've only fished once before, and that was actually yesterday. And uh, we did okay, caught some fish, which I'll show you some clips uh, from yesterday throughout uh, today's video. But uh, I really want to uh, dial in on the fish in this section. And it's a really cool system because it's like where, you know, it's more brackish fresh water than salt water. And uh, I think we've just only scratched the surface and uh, this whole week it's also been blowing like 20 to like 30 miles an hour out of the east and this is like one spot that is fishable because it's really isolated so uh, that's another reason why we're putting a lot of effort into this area but uh, yeah we've got a little ways to go and then we'll get to the water and uh, get after it so stay tuned let's find some fish Let's try and see if we can find a bite today. Looks like the tide just started going out, which is good. So we'll have some good current flow and uh, we're gonna work our way up river. All right, so yesterday we started with the Rapala on this first like mile stretch and I trolled all along this shoreline. So today we're gonna switch it up and uh, start just by casting the little four inch Fishaholic Finback Shad and uh, just work this first mile stretch a little more thoroughly. And uh, once we get up about a mile, the river starts bending and turning and that's where we had our first little bit of action. But uh, it just looks so good along this shoreline because of all the laydowns that uh, I think with the shad, we'll just be able to slow it down and fish a little more effectively and see if there's fish that hang out on this structure down here. Oh, look at that tree laying down there. How could there not be a fish on that? Not the best cast. Well, that's better. You guys can't see it, but there's a part of that tree under the water there that I'm trying to get, swim this bait by. There's another part of the tree right there that's underwater. Come on, come on, come on. There's part of the tree. <laughs> that is one of the challenging things of fishing here is there's so much underwater structure. It might only be like, it's sometimes maybe almost like a bad thing, you know, cause it's hard to pinpoint exactly where the fish are hanging out. But with enough time out here, I'll be able to probably find specific spots that hold fish. Look at that. Oh. That looks like a little baby common snook sitting right on this tree. See, I just trolled by here yesterday because it was so much windier, like blowing right up this section that I just wanted to get further up to where it bends and turns because I had a little more shelter there. 
And it still is windy, but I think the direction of the wind changed a little bit. Like yesterday, it was blowing more like southeast. Today, it's whipping just straight east. Oh, just got slammed again. All right, well, a little update for you. It's uh, been about 45 minutes and uh, we fished about a half mile further up river from where uh, we had our two bites on that lay down. And now we're kind of getting to like the bendy, turny section of the river. And uh, we're heading a little bit further up to a very interesting spot. Uh, it's like a cut in the river near this little island. And uh, that's where we had our best fish yesterday. So uh, check out that clip. Ooh, that looks like a nice snook right there. Oh, there he is. Good fish, what do we got here? Oh yeah, look at that. I think this is a, a big fat snook. Oh my gosh. All right, here's a closer look at uh, this fat snook, or what uh, I think it is. Uh, if it's another species of snook, uh, comment down below and correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, wow, this little chunky fish hit so hard. <laughs> that was uh, so epic. Thanks for playing the game, baby. Now right, let's get you back. All right, well, that was a pretty cool catch from yesterday. And uh, it'll, be, it'll be really cool if we can get another fish like that today. And uh, that cut is just right up there. But uh, I want to hit uh, this lay down before we go up that way. Oh, got hit, I'm pretty sure. Or we just bumped a branch. Come on back, come on back. I mean, this lay down is perfect. Like I can't imagine that there's no fish hanging on it, but we just gotta put this bait in front of them to get them to eat it. That's the cast. Come on, fish. Ah, oh, snagged. I was afraid of that. Dang, nothing here. Hmm, so weird. Let's uh, cut across to the cut. See if there's another snook there today. Got a great rip flowing right through here. And that's why that snook was here yesterday. And I marked some really good sized fish in here that I just couldn't get to bite. And I have no idea what they were. They could have been like medium sized tarpon maybe, or just big snook sitting in here like logs. Or um, I guess could have also possibly been like catfish or gar. I don't know. Hmm, really surprised, not even a bite in this cut today. So I think we're gonna continue moving further up river 
and uh, hit some docks. And the further we get up, there also is some canals we can hit. And uh, we had one little tiny snook up there and actually one nice largemouth bass that we caught. And uh, I've got the footage, so I'll show it to you. Check it out. There's another one. Wow. On the Rapala. What is, wait, is this a, it's a largemouth. Oh my God, dude. Look at that chunky largemouth. <laughs> I thought it was another fat snook for a sec. Man, that's a stud. Wow. So cool. Wow. Such a sweet bycatch. So uh, that's pretty cool. We can add largemouth to the list of species that we could catch up here. And that dock, I think, is like right up over there where we got that largey off. And uh, as we get further up, there's a lot more docks that we can hit and little canals. And uh, I'm gonna fish those a lot more thoroughly today than I did yesterday. So I've also brought like some smaller swim baits that we can use. Uh, to possibly target some largemouth if we can't uh, find any nice snook. I want to try the rapala along this wall. Come on, fish. Come on. Perfect. Come on, come on, fish. Hmm. Doesn't seem like any largemouth there today. Oh my gosh, look at that, an otter chasing the shad in. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was wild. It's never happened to me before. <laughs> and uh, probably the most uh, excitement that I've had in the last hour or so. I bet you there's probably not going to be too many fish on this little point if that otter is cruising around. So uh, this is the main river, no right, that's the main river right there. And we've got one canal there, one canal there, and then the main river continues up that way. So uh, let's adventure up this canal here. I was seeing a lot of mullet jumping in this one. So if there's a lot of bait, there could be a lot of fish. Oh my gosh. Just spotted a big jack blowing up on some mullet up river here. That's crazy. It's basically like a, a freshwater jack. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man, just got slammed right there. Dang, there was a fish. Lost them. Oh, and 
That was a little snook. All right, so I noticed that the very tip of this hook is a little rounded. So I'll probably have to sharpen it later and that might be the reason why uh, our last two fish, or well, even the our first fish popped off the hook. So I'm gonna put on this jig head, it's a lot sharper hook. Oh boy. There's a fish. Wow. Look at the size of that one. Now this one might be a sword spine because it has this really long spine on the bottom here. Not really sure, but hey, it's cool to get another fish and it uh, helped putting on a hook that wasn't uh, uh, rounded off on the end. Oh gosh. There's a better one. Still small, but got a little bit more shoulder to them. This one might be another sword spine or fat snook. Pretty cool though. Right, well, we have gave it another like 20, 30 minutes back in this canal and fished every little spot that I thought looked good and uh, had a couple other bites, but uh, no hookups. I think uh, there's probably even some smaller little snook in there that hit the back of the tail, but just can't eat the whole bait. But uh, being that it is 4.47 and the sun sets at like 6.15, we're gonna beeline it back down river and uh, head to that cut where we had our nice snook yesterday, fish that really thoroughly, and then uh, whether we catch something or even, you know, I mean, whether we ca you know, don't catch anything or even if we catch a fish, then leave that spot, head back down towards the launch and uh, fish around the area where we had our first two bites today. And uh, hopefully that'll be good enough to get uh, one more nice fish or, a couple uh, decent fish before uh, the day is over, so let's get to it. All right, well, we fished our way back to the launch and uh, did everything that uh, I said I was gonna do, hit that cut again. I also hit that same lay down where we had our first two bites. And then I also just spent the last like 45 minutes throwing the skitter walk along uh, some mangroves and vegetation and docks and seawalls and not even a swirl. So um, I guess uh, today and yesterday really just weren't my day, I mean, it, you know, we caught fish, but it wasn't uh, really what I was hoping for. I was hoping that yesterday was just like a little taste and that today was the day that we were gonna like crack the code on uh, this section of the river. But uh, I guess we're gonna have to save that for another day. But I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you guys could help support the channel by picking up some of the Fishaholic uh, hats, that would really mean the world to me. And until the next vid, live to fish, fish to live.